Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Y'all know who it is. It's that girl Lucy, and I'm back with a video. But if you're new to my channel, what's up? Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know who you are. Alright, so guys, today, guys, we are doing a friendship advice. Because school is coming up. I know for us, we got school less than two weeks. It is two weeks. It's not two weeks. Look it up on your phone. Okay, you're right. <clears throat> well, two to three weeks, something like that. I don't know when y'all start school, but we doing it now. And hi, by the way, since she didn't introduce me. Oh, yeah, Kiana. guys, I'm doing it with Kiana. Y'all seen it in my other video from a year ago. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put it right here. It, this video. Yeah. The, um, this video, y'all already know. I, I can't remember it, but I'll put it right there. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, guys, let's, so we're going to be hitting up, like, five topics of what's very important for your freshman year. I'm going to go with my phone because I have it on my phone. God dang it. Okay, so first, we're going to talk about school supplies. Okay? School supplies. Don't be coming in your school with like 30,000 30, papers. You know, them big old papers. Don't do that. Don't come in with the markers. Don't come in with all that. You don't need none of that. Yes, you do. Markers, no, you don't. Yes. When you have projects, yes, you do need markers. If the teachers be having like them raggedy ones from you. Bro. I'm talking about don't come in with a lot of school supplies. Like yeah, wait, don't. wait till your teacher give you what to do. Yeah. Uh, to take whatever. Just like have like a binder. That's really all a you need. A binder, yeah. A binder the, and, and notebooks and notebooks for each class because they gonna ask for that off the hand. Yeah, but some people ask for <coughs> composition notebooks and some teachers ask for spirals. So you just gotta be careful or get both, like two. That ain't fifty cents. Yeah, just 25 but, is where I live. Yeah, don't do all the extra this. All I would say is a binder, some pencils, some pencils definitely. It's pencils, yes, yeah, so you don't need pencils. pencils. Well, I like mechanical pencils, so that's what I I use regular pencils because you can sharpen them, and every time I use mechanicals, I break them. Okay. Yeah, we serious, by the way, so yeah. Being a freshman, done that, did that. <laughs> Next topic is grades. Stay on top of your grades. Now, this yeah, year, like, this is the most important 14 thing. 14 year. Working. No, this is the most important thing we're talking about today. Because oh. grades, like... Grades, yes. This is the year that you want to be on top. If you're trying to graduate with honors, valedictorian, celebratorian, all that, you need to be on top. This is the year where it's going to really matter. Salutatorian. What's it called? It's salutatorian. My bad. My bad. Y'all can already tell I'm not the salutatorian or the valedictorian. I can't even say it. <laughs> but we, smart. we are graduating with honors, though, so... So far, so far. Cause of, yeah, we'll see. So I got. Sure, say I want to look at our graduation vlogger now. Like we not like graduate. Yeah, guys. But like, I don't know if your school competitive at all. But like, try to stay on top. Like, yeah, because it determines your rank, your GPA, and if you have a good GPA, you will get scholarships later on when you become a senior. Like when you, you can get all of that for college and stuff. It just makes life easier if you stay on top of your grades. And then your senior year will be fun because you won't have to do as much as other people because you took care of your business the past, for the other years. Yes, that's right. So try to stay on top of your grades. Like, try to make mostly A's. But yeah. if you can, try A's and B's. And get into, like, AP classes and stuff. Like Yeah, so you can get college credit. It just... It just freshman year, I think you can only take pre-AP. So, like, do that. See if you like it. Cause going into jumping right into AP class is kind of hard, you know. You got to balance your grades and stuff. Yeah. So getting into AP to get a feel of it, it shouldn't be that hard. Yo, GPA is rated different too. Rated different. So yeah, get the AP classes, do credit, whatever you have. It's so our next topic. It's gonna be sports and extracurricular activities. So do that. Do that your freshman year. Get involved with your school. Do. Yeah, I feel like that looks good. Like when you feel out of. Transcript. Yeah, transcript. For college, that, it yeah. looks good. It looks good. So again, yeah, like student sports. council, like if they have that at your school, I would do that. I would just do everything. And get involved. And if you don't sport. like it, you can always like get out of it the next year. But it's just good to try it. It's probably one more time. No, but they got do sports, do all that, join clubs, do all of that. And my camera's going dead. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, y'all, but like, do everything. I mean, everything. <laughs> I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of everything. I was thinking of everything. It's nobody in 
this room. You talking about fine. <laughs> Um, what I did my freshman year, I did student council. I, I did. Oh, I don't think I did that. I did basketball. Oh yeah, and basketball. That's, I, I remember a lot of people from basketball. Yeah, I did basketball and student council. Right yeah, I was saying. And I was also in the United Way, Upper Balance, some of the, the, the program, you know what that is? Yes, yeah, good program. I went on like, boy, I went on like college trip. Like, and just like be involved in like school. Like, yes. Don't be lame also, because a lot of people are lame their first year. I mean, you guys are already freshmen, so you get it the worst, so. Yeah, y'all get the worst. Y'all get the worst. So, I would Yes, and matter of fact, now we finna go talking to friendships, okay? Friendships? <laughs> yeah, friendships. Friends! Like, you know, I hate to break this to y'all. But the people you walk into high school with, you won't walk. Wait, the people you walk in high school with, you won't be walking out with them. It was basically saying like, I'm sorry, year, I'm sorry to tell y'all this. Freshman year, you gonna make a lot of friends. And by the time you get to your a senior year, well, I mean, you. it's not saying that you won't be friends with them no more. You just won't be as close as you guys were like ninth grade year. You make new yes. friends. You make new friends. This is also with sports and clubs. Like, you know what I mean? Like you join a club and you so like, like you join a sport, and you so like hanging out with the same people. Yeah. So if you do like, like sports, you're friends you're gonna, in different sport. Yeah, if you're gonna do sports, you're gonna most likely end up hanging out with those people because you're with them twenty four seven. Yeah. So those are gonna be. But if you like us, like we have friends, like in our sport. We in the same sport, y'all. She's capping. Yeah, but we we're have friends that's outside, out of squad sports and out of yeah. side of our sports too that we're still close, close with. with. Yeah. So my friend, she's on varsity basketball, but yeah, we still close. Yeah, because I be cheerful. Some of my friends don't do like sports, but we still close with them. So it just depends on I don't know. It's it depends on what people. person you are. Yeah, because you can still keep your friends. Yeah. You just but the people I used to hang out with freshman year, I don't really hang out with them like that anymore. I found other friends. Not that I don't like them. I just found other friends. Found other friends <laughs> <laughs> because I did different activities. So before my phone we did. I mean, my, my camera went dead. No, my phone, my phone's my We wasn't talking about friendships, but we gonna go ahead and move on for that topic because we was talking a lot. So our next topic is relationships. Okay, so y'all already know what I'm finna say, blah, blah, blah. The seniors, they gonna be after you. But they gonna want well, one thing and one thing only. We're not gonna say what that one thing is. Cause y'all already know. know. Like, when you hear, hey, you in the hallway, run. Don't even look back. Don't get in a relationship, don't work a relationship. You in high school. Don't think when you get in a relationship that y'all gonna be forever. It's probably feel forever. Yeah, it's just a high school relationship. Yeah, it's just a high school well, relationship. Well, some people, like, marry. They do they, last. Yeah, marry their high school, but that's, like, a low percentage. one out of a million. So. <laughs> and they, they will cheat. People are childish. I heard boys don't mature until they're 25. It's a proven fact. So, they don't care about cheating And cheating don't them. be so heartbroken. Like, don't stop your life just because a boy broke your heart. Like, keep it pushy, you know? Also, um, good to get to know your teacher. Like, get in a good relationship with your teachers. Yeah. Not on a, like, um, buddy, buddy, like, oh, my girlfriend, boyfriend. No, nah, like, get cool with your teacher. Like, get to know them, actually. Cause yeah, like, say Personally, it. too. Like, they can help you understand your problem and... Yeah. Help you what you need up with. Good relationship with your teachers. Yeah, be basically. nice. Get to those APs, the counselors. They're yeah, the ones going to help you with all the transcripts and college and stuff. Get to know the hall monitors. So if you get caught in the hallway, he'll take you to get a hall pass. He walk you to class and let you get a free pass. <laughs> Last topic is, is it be you. Don't let nobody pressure you coming out. Oh my gosh, you gay. You come out when you want to come out. Okay? I support the LGBT. Ooh, did I say right? Yeah, LGBT. Yeah, I support that. I support that. So wait, you don't have to come out when they tell you to. Don't let nobody force you to come out. You come out when you're ready. I just realized what it meant. Lesbian, L, B, bisexual, G, and what is G? Bi. Yeah, bi. Yeah, bisexual, G. What is G? Okay. Okay. Yeah. And T is transgender. I think. I never knew that either. Say it again. So L, lesbian, L, lesbian, G. No, no. L, L G. L, L, B, G, T. B is bisexual. G is K. gay and, and T, T is, is trans talented. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't think 
so talented when you said Tiggy. No. Like, talented. No. Change. Bro, that is so cool. Then what is. Why can't we have the S in there like straight? I'm mixing up. L B G T S. But, but yeah. Because I feel like. At the end of the day, why you say the same thing I said? <laughs> Okay, but uh, yeah, don't let people peer pressure you. Like, your yeah. friends, they're not good friends if they're encouraging you to do bad stuff. Yeah, like, girl, come on, we just smoke the weed, smoke the weed, man, smoke it. Oh, I don't want to. Don't let the pressure and, Yeah, you. and then if they be like, man, you lame, that's not Okay, then be lame. Be, be lame. lame. Be you. Be lame. Beautiful. I don't know, all stuff. <laughs> yeah, guys, so, um, also be you like have your own style don't be trying to like oh i like us i like what she wants so i'm gonna go buy it too no find what you like i mean it's okay to get some just because somebody I'm, else got it but like i mean if you really like really it, really like it, yeah but like find a style that you really like and stick with it yeah don't be pressured into getting everything to everybody else. yeah like oh because the new jordans if you really don't like jordans you know you don't like jordans don't be trying to go out there and buy jordans and waste your mama money y'all fresh with y'all don't have jobs yet so don't be out there trying to waste your own be you be if you want to go out there and wear uniforms and you wear free dress you know you do you no one might tell you that that mm -hmm. uniforms are ugly yeah or you wore them same khaki monday right how do you know i didn't wash them yeah okay i think that's all you guys you got anything else you want to say no that's all the advice that i got and also, I want to tell y'all that it goes by fast. Enjoy your time. Yeah. Because I'm kind of sad. It's my senior year and I'm kind of sad. Even though yeah. it hasn't started, but just think about it. Make friends, y'all. Don't be antisocial. Get out your comfort zone, too, y'all. Yeah, because I know some people that's antisocial and. They're going to regret it. They're going to regret it. Especially when you get into college, like, you got to be social if you like, It's okay friends. to have them friends that you hang out with 24 7, but like, what if you go to a class and you don't have none of those friends that you're close with in that class? Then you just go be sitting there looking bored. It's good to make other friends. I thought friends. you didn't have this in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to make other friends. Like, yep. I mean, they ain't got to be your, uh, like your close friends, friends they but can. they could just be your friend for that class or, you know. Yeah. Friend of the day. Right. Don't like, be anti-social and be like, Ugh, I don't want to talk to nobody. And it's also important if you want to run for stuff. Like run for president, run for homecoming, run for whatever, prom queen in the future or anything, king or whatever. Get to know people. <laughs> Let's end off with a good note. Okay. So we're going to end off with singing. Okay, let's we're gonna play some senior girls. We're gonna end it like that, y'all. Hot no, girl, hot girl style. No. All 2019. No, no. Megan and Stallion. I just said that. Hot girl you style. You said city girls. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hey. What you gonna do? Yeah, y'all know this song? No, because I just made it up the line. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna kiss too. And that's why every time you see me, I got some new shoes. Ah. Ay. Look, bitch, I'm a star, I got these niggas wishing. He say, I'm on my body, I'm a night coming. And my girl about a 10. I should fuck her in the best.